In this code cast, we're going to go over how to database instances in Sports Code or Game Breaker. Databasing just means that I'm going to select one or more instances from more than one timeline and move them into a new timeline. That new timeline in Movie is what we call a database. So for this example, we'll pretend that our team is about to play Phoenix, the orange team here in the video, and we've gone ahead and captured and coded a few of Phoenix's games, which you can see over here on my desktop, and coded them. This is the Phoenix Boston game that I have open right now. I'll go ahead and close that. And the first thing I want to do in terms of databasing is to come up to the File menu, go to New, and Create Database. I'll call this the Phoenix I'll just put DB for database so that I know it is a database file. Make sure it goes to my desktop here and hit create. Once I do that, I am alerted that a new database called Phoenix DB has been created, so I just hit OK. And I can see it over here on my desktop, Phoenix database. So now I'll come back and open up this Phoenix Boston game that we've already coded. And you can see there's a few different rows here. And typically I'll select everything since we're scouting database, the scouting Phoenix that I've already coded by selecting Command A on the keyboard. But for sake of example here, I'm just going to select the first few instances in each row here. So a few offense, few defense. You can see a field goal make, a ball screen, a point guard clip, and a small forward clip. Once I have those selected, I'll click on the database icon on the timeline, then click on the Phoenix DB file that I created earlier, and then hit export to. When I do that, it lets me know how much space it's going to take when it copies those instances into this new timeline. So I'll just hit yes, and I'll get a progress bar there showing the export of the clips. And you can see here that the database has been updated and it's taken the instances from the original timeline into this new database timeline. So you can see here that the database is made up of a timeline and a movie window, just like a regular game file. So everything that you know how to do in a regular movie package also pertains to a database. So you can see that I have just the instances that I selected here in the original game here in the database timeline. So you can see that I have uh, three offensive clips here, two defensive clips, one field goal make, and one each of a ball screen, point guard, and small forward clip. So I'll go ahead and close the database. And I'm going to close the first game as well then come up here and open up the second Phoenix game versus Dallas. When that game opens, you can see that I've already coded it as well. And let's take a look at some of the rows here. As you can see, I have the same named rows, offense, defense, field goal make, ball screens, turnovers. But if you'll notice the names of the rows for the point guard, shooting guard, and other positions are slightly different. I didn't use the abbreviations I use the full names in this case so again this is the second game that we coded against Dallas and I'll just select some of the first few clips in each row and I'm going to add this one small forward clip too if I want to add to my selection I can hold the command key on the keyboard then single click on that instance and you can see it gets added to my selection so once I have those selected, I'll click on the database icon on the timeline, choose the same database file to move these instances into, hit export to, hit yes, and you can see now that the instances are being exported, the database has been updated, and now I have a few more clips in each row. So you can see here that everything to the left of the playhead here is the Phoenix versus Boston game and everything to the right is the Phoenix versus Dallas game and the instances for each row have been appended into this same row so that all my offense from both games 
now reside in the same row, as well as the defense, field goal makes, ball screens, and turnovers. I'm going to close this game behind here and come back to the database. And let's look at what happened with the position rows. So if we take a look at the position rows here, meaning the blue PG, SF, point guard, shooting guard, and small forward rows, you can see that the instances didn't exactly drop into the same row like offense, defense, and these green rows. Ideally, I'd want my point guard instance here to drop into the PG row because both of these clips are related to the point guard. However, in the original games when I coded, for some reason I decided to rename the button in my code window here from PG to point guard in the second game. So I got different named rows in the initial games. Thus, when I databased, the instances dropped into different rows. So I just wanted to make the point that when you code your initial games, try to be consistent with not only what you name your buttons in the code window, but hopefully you're using the same code window for every game as well. That will make a difference when you database. Other popular uses for a database besides opponent scouts are self-scouting or making a highlight database of your own players clips or even a video playbook. You can append as many different clips into one database file as you'd like.